Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the broil element on your range, and it's a really easy job. Depending on your model, you either need a number two Phillips screwdriver or a number two square head screwdriver, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So if it has a cord on it, simply unplug it from the receptacle. And if it's a hardwired range, you'll need to locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. And next, we're going to pull the range far enough forward that we can access the back panel. And you may also wish to remove the oven door to give you better access to the inside of the oven. So simply flip up on those locking levers until they engage the hook on the hinge. Then we'll just lift up on that door, tilt it, and pull it in. Tilt the hinges out of the oven body, and we'll just set that aside. You can then remove the oven racks. Then next we're going to remove the two screws that secure the burl mounting bracket to the back of the oven wall. And we will need to reuse those. And we'll just leave that element hanging on the suspension hooks at the front for now. We'll go and remove the back panel and disconnect the wires there. Well, next we'll need to remove this back panel. So simply take the three retaining screws out. And just lift up slightly on that to release the tabs and set it aside. Next we'll locate the wires that attach to the broil element. We're going to just pull those off at the terminals. And if they're on there very tight, you may need to use your needle nose pliers to pull them off. And remember to grasp just the terminal and not the wire. We also should inspect those terminals at this time. Make sure there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion, and if there is, we'll need to replace those terminal ends. So next we can go to the front of the range and we can pull that element out through. Now that we have the wires removed from the terminals on the back of the element, we can then unhook the element from these little support hooks on the front. Just spread them apart slightly and pull the element straight out through the back, and we can discard the old element. Installing the new element, we're going to fit that through the opening in the back, and then we'll hang it on these hooks on the front. And we'll reinstall the retaining screws. Tighten those both securely, and then we can go to the back of the range and reconnect the wire harnesses. So with the element in place, we'll now reconnect those wires. And again, we want to make sure that they fit on there nice and snug, so if you need to, just tighten those up with your pliers. Make sure they're fully inserted. Pull any insulation back down into place if it's been dislocated. And then we can put the back panel on. So we'll line this up so that those two cutouts line up with the tabs on the main back panel. And then just slide it in so that they both engage. And reinstall the retaining screws. And we can now reinstall the oven door if you removed it. We can now reinstall the oven rack. We 
you put the oven door back in place. So just line up both hinges with the openings in the front. Make sure it's fully inserted. And you'll know when it's properly in place because it will support itself. Just flip down those hinge locks. Close the door. Make sure it's touched properly. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.